Hey guys, I am back with another couple bags of jewelry. So, let's get started. Let's start with this one first. This seller has really good pieces. They just usually come very, um, they just need a good cleaning. All right, so we got three little boxes. these. Look open. Right. Let's see what we got. Okay. Come here, go. It is well protected, so that's good. Loved this piece. This is a nice, like, 60s, I'm guessing. Love this. Love, love, love. That is going to be a good seller. The keywords make all the difference, guys. Nice cloisonne pin. Cloisonne earrings. Those are pretty. Little cloisonne owl that'll go in my owl show, which I'm going to have in a couple hours. Little red elephant. Put all that to the side. And then this great red and white beaded spring clasp. Vintage necklace. Make sure there's nothing else in there. Alright. Another box. Three little boxes. I'm gonna open this with a pen. I should have just got enough. So, I have my L show later today, which you'll see this video after that's done. But I'm gonna have a Valentine's Day jewelry sale coming up. This was awesome. This is a vintage dapper, bleh, dapper pin brooch. Gorgeous. And then we have this Pilgrim. I like the Pilgrim brand. I, just, I feel they have good stuff. Stuff. Very blingy. <laughs> this one, I mean, I probably wouldn't wear this one because it's so blingy. But yeah, I know people out there that will. They just put so much like. It's very good quality stuff. Oh, there's something else in here. This one I'll put in the Valentine's Day sale. It's just classic. Like, I don't know. It just reminds me of Valentine's Day. It's got the nice V. Herringbone. Just a nice piece. That'll go in my Valentine's Day. Today. One more box in this one. And this one's heavier. Oh, there's, I love glass pearls. 
bulbs are so heavy and just yeah this is a magnetic oh yeah magnetic closure that's nice these are these are awesome these are incredible oh I can't stand up about these all right so that was from that seller and i'm actually impressed with how those pieces came i've got some pieces it's like oh goodness gracious then we got this box Love this seller because they always put the measurements on the bags. Makes my life easy. Alright. See what this one is. Pink acrylic. Put that in a future um, pink jewelry sale. This one's not by anybody or anything. See what else we got. And if you ever see anything in my sales that you like, you can message me. This one is bone carved. And then the seed beads. You can message me on Instagram, Facebook. You can email me. This one I just thought was so cool. This is um safety pins. I just really like it. I don't know if anybody else will, but I thought it was cool. This will go on the Valentine's Day sale. This is hematite, nice heart, and then the pink cat's eye, oh, that's really nice. I'm going to start getting stuff added to the catalog for that show, because there's going to be a lot of stuff. And there's, um, we'll have a lot of items in the buy it now section not just up for auction this piece I'm torn about putting in today's owl sale this is Reed and Barton I'm going to pay up for this one a little bit Reed and Barton and then I don't know what that word is under that Really pretty owl. I guess like the moon behind it is embossed. That's what the chain looks like. So, I mean, I don't know. I may, I don't know. really nice this teardrop this is by Leah Sophia okay no wonder it feels nice her stuff is always great it's got a satin cord get all that shoved back down in there I just thought this one was interesting. Three little twisted pieces of glass. Got 
Oh, all the good stuff. This one's just a nice chunky silver chain. Think about this thinking it'd be good to put a nice big one of the really big chunky pendants I've got. Remember, if you can find chains, cheese. Even if they have an ugly pendant on them, bomb and take that pendant off and put on some of the other pendants you have. Also, don't be afraid to dress up really. Ooh. Okay, this is sad because this broke. Scrape your. Use a glass. So, yeah, that sucks. I don't even know where those beads came. Oh, yep. Oop. Oop. Now I'm going to have beads all over the floor. I'm going to have to message them about that one. a good reason to open your jewelry like when you get it rather than which I did just get this package so. this one has I get slices is that right I get I don't know are these not gorgeous That's a nice, like, I'll probably use the keyword boho on that one. That was beautiful. Just beautiful. This one, pretty sure, is carved bone. Nice and smooth. Eventually, I'm. Um, Initially, I thought that was wear in the photos, but no, that's just how it's made. I love these disc necklaces. They just lay so beautifully and just feel so nice. Oh, this isn't jewelry, but grabbed these. These are three made in the USA pocket knobs. I got them for only two fifty, dollars which was... Fabulous. I should keep one of these sitting here to open packages. Yeah, they've got wear, but you know, these, I would say from the colors are probably 1960s at least. I'll have Tony look at those. He knows more about knobs and stuff than I do. And even if they're not worth anything, it was three knobs for, you know, less than an LRP. piece. So. This is one I just took a chance on. I just like the looks of it. Look. I just realized something. That last package I just opened, I'm pretty sure it was missing something. Which unfortunately is an issue with that seller. I think I just need to stop buying from that seller, but I get such good deals. Okay, this is cat sign, hematite. on. It's nice and flexible too, which is nice. Okay, with this green piece, it's Kimio. Hmm. 
that's an interesting piece. Has some wear, but I like that. So I'm guessing somebody just took an old cameo and made something new, which I love. This is, this is good stuff, but this is not as great as the last haul I did. If you haven't seen that jewelry haul, go back and check it out. Lots of good stuff. But this one's unmarked. It's just a nice pretty piece. Not stone. It's just acrylic. Bracelet and earrings. Cuff bracelet with cat's eye. Has come unsoldered, which is not ideal. But I'll just disclose that. But that and the matching earrings. Oh, that earring's missing a stone. Okay, so I'm gonna have to contact them about two pieces now. Oi. So more and more I'm liking the seller I did in the previous video. It's a nice fun piece for a sea show, which I like doing, mermaids and fish, and all that fun stuff. Another bone necklace. Again with the discs. This one does have some weird. I think that's weird. Or maybe that's just the way the bone looks. Or accepts the stain. And in some parts it just doesn't accept the stain. And if you're wondering like, um, what kind of bone? <laughs> it's bovine. Fancy word for cow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, not that y'all didn't know that. <laughs> that piece will go in the Valentine's Day sale. And then, yep, this is the last piece. I really liked this piece. I think it'll do well on pot. This is a really nice big shell. Really pretty. So, that is all for this video. This one was much shorter than the last one. Go check out the last one. It was a hundred dollar box, and oh my god, there was such good stuff. I will more than make my money back many, many, many times. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go message a couple of these two sellers for my missing items and yeah be sure to like comment share subscribe hit that bell check me out on whatnot macari and ebay instagram facebook and tiktok all under bling a ding ding and i'll see you next time bye